Okay, so I'm going to start off by adding some water to this wash basin that I have. I love using um, these basins to clean out my wigs. I just place them down in my sink because it just helps to protect my sink and also to keep my sink clean. So what you see me doing here is just making sure that my wig gets completely saturated in water. Now I'm taking my Olive Oil ORS Creamy Aloe Shampoo and I'm just going to go in and just begin to clean the wig. So I love using this shampoo because it's more of a clarifying shampoo and it just helps to remove all of that buildup and any deep down dirt that may be within the wig. If you're like me and you love to use got to be um, glue products to help hold your wigs down and hold them in place, then this shampoo is perfect. It will really help to remove a lot of that old residue. So now I'm just making sure that all of that shampoo is getting through that wig and rinsing it out. And as you can see, this wig was pretty dirty. I've had her for some time and I haven't worn her in a very long time. I put her away, but I said, let me bring her back out since the fall months is in, just to switch up my color sometimes. So yeah, you guys, she's pretty dirty, but we're gonna, we're gonna take care of that. So as you can see, I am dumping that water out. And now I'm gonna go in with my Pantene Pro-V conditioner. You don't have to use a Pacific conditioner for this. Um, you can use whatever you have. Uh, the conditioner doesn't really have to be, you know, anything, anything special, just long as it's a conditioner and, you know, it's just gonna, just gonna help straighten out the hair and remove any tangles. So as you can see, I'm making sure I get the ends really good and making sure that I just get all of that conditioner um, through the wig. And then I'm gonna let it set for maybe about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so once she has set for a good 15 or 20 minutes, you see I'm coming back now and I'm just rinsing all of that conditioner out. And I put right much in there. So I'm just taking the time just to make sure that I'm rinsing all of that conditioner out really, really well. Okay, so I'm removing that water and then I'm just gonna add in some clean water just to give it another rinse, just to make sure that I am, you know, getting all the conditioner out and it's not gonna be any products left in there. Now you see me just taking the wig and just squeezing some of that water out, going in a downward motion, um, squeezing as I go lightly. You don't wanna to be too harsh because you don't wanna pull any of the natural curls out that's gonna bounce back in. And I'm fluffing it as I go along. So yeah, guys, now it's time for the drying time. So what I do for that is I just take one of my mannequins and I place it on my desk there and I just hang my wig from it and place that basin right under it and allow it to just air dry. Now, after about, I want to say about 97% um, that it's dry, I'll just go in and just fluff her up and brush her and see how those curls are bouncing back in as you can see they came in they came back in pretty well and she's looking more shiny and more bouncy instead of instead of dull the way she was looking at the beginning of the video so i'm just going in and just continuing to lightly brush her So now the last step I like to do is take some of my Garnier Fruit Teas Hair Serum. And I like to take about one pump because this stuff goes a long way. You don't need much. And I just like to, um, of course, rub it in my hands and then just apply it all over the wig just to give it an extra boost, an extra shine. I've been using this stuff on my wigs for a pretty long time and it's really helped me to maintain and keep them in good shape.
Hey guys, so moving on to how I store my wigs. I just placed them on a black utility shelf that I picked up from Walmart. Um, of course, I, you know, nails it to the wall. Um, you can get them in store for around $10. I have found some on sale for about $5 and they are really, really good um, to put on your wall to store your wigs. Also, these two pink mannequins in the front here. I like to keep my wigs on mannequins just to keep them from getting tangled and to keep them in good shape. I got those two from my local beauty supply. And you can also get the ones that look like that black one in the back um, that came from my local beauty supply store as well. Okay guys, so this is how she looks after everything is done and all the steps have been applied. Um, she came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way that she's looking. I'm gonna come a little closer so you guys can get a better view of her. So this is how she looks, guys. All of her shine came back in. All of her curls popped back in. I did not add any heat to this unit. Um, this just comes from washing and conditioning and adding that serum. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you would try this method on some of your old wigs. Remember, until next time, take care. God bless. Bye.